Hey YouTube, CJR here again. Um, just got back from my uh, weekly garage sale session. I went out about about a uh, quarter to seven today. I hit a few sales that were listed pretty early uh, before seven seven a.m. Um, things weren't going too well at all till about nine o'clock. Um, then I started to hit a few scores. It's getting pretty discouraged. I'll uh, show you what I got though towards the end of the day there. I, I hit a huge score. Um, quick tip, like uh, with garage sailing, you can get really discouraged. It'll, you can go two hours and not find anything. And all it takes is just turning down that one street that you, you know, any other time you'd have missed. Um, never skip a sale. You never know what's going to be. You know, I've picked up Final Fantasy VII, I think, at last, uh, last pickups, and it was a table with like maybe 20 items on it. Um, you never know who has what. It's it's tough. To, it's tough to read. So, never skip a sale. And uh, yeah, it happens. You get discouraged, but um, all it takes is a couple lucky spots and a subpar day can turn into an amazing day, like today was. Um, okay, I'll get started right away here. Um, I picked up a Genesis, first Genesis of the year that I've seen. Um, usually, I find a lot of a lot of Jennies around, um, not so much this year. Uh, anyways, uh, Model 1 system, 16-bit, um, the one with the nice sound. These old ones have better sound, uh, stereo sound, than the, than the newer ones, the Model 2. Anyways, two controllers, cables. Um, they also pulled out a NES gun, uh, which I needed. Uh, I've been running low on those. Um, and then this stack of games here. I'll quickly go through those. This is NH or NFL 95, a couple of NES games, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Blades of Steel, Canadian Classic, Double Dragon, nice find there, NHL 94, boxed and complete, 97, boxed and complete, and needed that one in the box. 96, box and complete, good old Canada, hockey games at every sale, Young Indiana Jones, I thought that I heard one time that this is actually a pretty decent game, uh, graphics look okay, looks like a Aladdin style game, um, box and complete, nice little find there, good old Sonic 2, um, that's a really good copy, um, I might keep that one, Sonic 1, and Sonic and Knuckles boxed. Uh, I think it's missing the manual, but I think I might have a copy of the manual. Uh, I didn't have that box, so that's a nice score. Um, let's clear this out. Uh, yeah, so $10 for all that stuff. Pretty good deal. I picked up Super Monkey Ball, Game Boy Advanced. A clear blue Game Boy Color uh, with the teal uh, backing. Um, yeah, the backing is the backing. I already have this color, but I think I might uh, keep this one in better shape. And Luigi's Mansion. And this is box and complete. Um, these sell pretty pretty well. I think I'd probably get 10 to 15 for those. Uh, this stuff was $5 total. Um, so five for that. Uh, quickly, one here, Brain Age 2. Um, they wanted three dollars. Probably wouldn't have bought it, but it uh, came with the Wii points card, so or the Nintendo Club points card. So I definitely will use that, and I'll have to use it before I post this video because I just showed you the code for all you dishonest, sneaky people out there. None of my subscribers, of course. So two dollars. Okay, I got a stack of PS1 games here. These were five dollars. Uh, Scooby Doo, Cyber Chase, see that all the time. Grand Theft Auto 2, Fear Effect 2. Uh, this is in really good shape. I, is the manual? Yeah, the manual's there. Discs are mint. Um, yeah, great shape. I might, I have that already. Again, I might swap it out for the, that's this copy. Driver 2, I believe I have the greatest hits copy of this, so I might be keeping this too. All these are in very good condition. Another copy of Resident Evil 2, this is the third one I found this year. And the final one here, 
Final Fantasy 7. So this Final Fantasy 7 cost me maybe less less than a dollar. Problem is, it's missing somehow missing the back artwork and the manual actually. Um, the discs are, the discs themselves are in mint condition, no manual. Um, if anybody's interested in this, let me know. If you just want to play the game, this is an ideal copy. Um, it wouldn't look too bad on the shelf either. It's just that back. I don't know how the back art is missing. That's strange. But anyways, five dollars for that stack. Uh, real quick, picked up this official PlayStation bag. It's got the embroidered symbols on it. Uh, pretty cool. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. There's two uh, official memory cards stuck in the pocket there too. I paid two dollars for this. I had an N64 one. I'm not even sure why I bought that, to be honest. Well, the people look like they needed the money, actually. Well, two, if two dollars really matters to them. But. Um, okay, quick stack of DVDs. Uh, this guy had a table full of the newest DVDs. He wanted two bucks a piece. Um, I got seven here for ten dollars, so a dollar twenty-five, I think. Uh, Kick ass, awesome movie. Green Hornet, pretty terrible movie. Picked it up anyways. Juno, it's just kind of one of those movies I didn't have. Hot Tub Time Machine, pretty good movie. Enjoyed that. Uh, Toy Story 3. This, in my mind, could have won the Oscar this year. It was, it's that good of a movie. This movie's fantastic. Uh, third one in the trilogy, and this may be the best of all. Uh, Zombieland, another amazing movie. Uh, Woody Harrelson's great in that. There's a cameo. Um, uh, whatever, I'll spoil it. If you haven't seen a cameo from Bill Murray in there, it's a really good movie. And another one with Woody Harrelson, an even better movie in my mind, Defendor. If you haven't seen this movie, download it, buy it, rent it, Redbox it, or whatever that's called. Yeah, Redbox in the States. This movie's phenomenal. I love this movie. Yeah, so 10 bucks, $10 for that, for that stack of seven. Um, Another good day for uh, vinyl. Um, I'll just kind of quickly go through these. Steppenwolf Gold, Fats Domino, Earth, Wind and Fire, Billy Holiday, Johnny Cash, Pink Floyd The Wall, Nat King Cole, Eric Clapton and the Ticket, Teenage Head, Supertramp, The Rolling Stones, Mick Jagger, Johnny Cash again, The Doors, Johnny Cash at San Quentin, Kiss Destroyer, Led Zeppelin, Bruce Springsteen born in the USA, Johnny Cash, I Walk the Line, Single Man, Elton John, Ooh, the original motion picture soundtrack to The Shaft, uh, Isaac Hayes, yeah, it's a bad mother, Sinatra, more Sinatra, Lots of Sinatra. Some great Sinatra finds here. This stuff's great to throw on. More Jimi Hendrix, which is always nice. Um, more Bowie. And Frank Zappa. And this is a nice little find. Uh, Roberta Flack, Killing Me Softly. Uh, okay, so this is the... Um, just the minor pickups I picked up for today. Uh, today's theme was definitely the N64 and I gotta mention one of my subscribers Ding Dingway7 I hope that's the right way to say it um, he loves he likes to see uh, all the N64 stuff I grab so this definitely is, easy, is easily my best N64 uh, day garage selling um, I've been finding a ton of N64 stuff this year my uh, collection has definitely risen I've got a lot of good titles the last uh the last couple months here at Garage Ceiling. Um, yeah, a lot of great Nintendo first party titles that I didn't have. Um, first pick up here was another Jungle Green um, N64 with the expansion pack. Blue controller, mint condition blue controller. I might keep this one for myself. It sticks nice, it's mint. Um, and Pokemon Stadium, that was $10. Okay, uh, the next sale here I came by around 8 o'clock, asked if they had any games. The guy said that he did at home. 
Um, so I told him I'd come back later. Came back around 11 o'clock. He, uh, he saved them for me. And first thing he pulled out was the system here, two controllers, memory card. And I asked if he had any games. He's like, oh yeah, I'll go grab them. Um, he came up with four boxed games. I'll just let you see what these are here. These are pretty impressive. Uh, WWF No Mercy, which I didn't have, which so that's nice. Uh, Scooby Doo, again, didn't have that, so that's pretty happy to get that. The next two are amazing finds. Um, uh, Majora's Mask, boxed and complete. Uh, the box itself is in really good shape. Um, some minor bends and scuffs, but uh, great condition. And right below it, you can see it already. Uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, uh, again in very good condition, complete, boxed, manual, everything. Uh, these guys, boxed and complete, go for, I don't know, 40 to 50 I would assume on eBay I think, maybe 40. Um, so the total here for this system and the four box games was $20. Um, I'm pretty happy to pay that, I wouldn't take it down much more than that I feel like I would be robbing the guy um, yeah so 20 for that um, the next the next bundle here is easily one of my best pickups of all time um, it's another N60 the N64 stuff alone is is just ridiculous uh, this guy pulled out an old nasty duffel bag just full of two consoles and piles of games I didn't even look at them I asked him how much he wanted he said that he would do it for 20 bucks I didn't <laughs> I just took them and ran, basically. Um, yeah, I was just like, yeah, that sounds fair to me. I hand them 20 bucks and got the hell out of there. Um, this is an insane find. Um, so this is the N64 stuff that was in the bag. Basically, what you're looking at here was $10. Um, three controllers, two rumble packs, two memory cards, 17 games. Uh, I don't think the expansion pack's in there. No, that's okay. All the cords, complete with all the cords. I'll uh, quickly go through the games here. Uh, these are the ones that I needed. Uh, there's a nice stack of the ones I needed, which is really nice. NHL Breakaway, 99. PGA European Tour. Mario Golf, I thought I had it, but I didn't. Mint Coffee. Ridge Racer 64, another really, really happy to find that. Uh, Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000, didn't have that either. Extreme G2, I recently picked up Extreme G1. Uh, yeah, that's part two, didn't have that. Milo's Astro Lanes. And the last one, excellent pickup here, Star Fox 64, didn't have that either. So that whole stack, those will all go in the collection. Uh, these were the other ones that I will uh, sell off. Everybody messes this one up. Um, YLI Country Club. That's my best guess at that. Pokemon Snap. Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Diddy Kong Racing. Cruising USA. I used to love that game. In the arcade and on the 64. That's one of the first 64 games I had. I played the crap out of that game. I actually have to go back to that and see how it holds up. And or, uh, Mario Kart 64, another copy of Mario Golf, uh, NFL Quarterback Club 99, and good old 007, GoldenEye 007. So that's 17 games, three controllers. Uh, controllers are in decent condition, they just need to be cleaned up. Rumble packs, 10 for that, 20 in total including the next stuff I'm going to show you here. Um, yeah, so pretty straightforward here. A uh, Super Nintendo, two controllers, all the cords, and two for five games. The other Wiley Country Club for the SNES. Super Mario Kart. Uh, haven't seen this one for a while. I don't see it too often. Uh, Street Fighter II Turbo. NHL 97 and Super Tennis. So, as I said, that 
duffel bag full of games and controllers and systems. Twenty dollars. Probably one of my best finds ever. Uh, just a fantastic deal. And uh, that's that's about it for today. Um, I think I only hit about sixty sales today. As I said, it was pretty slow. I hit that sale with the duffel bag full of games towards the end, um, and then I again. This is the last thing I picked up was the system with the box games. So you can see here everything that you see here was picked up within probably a half hour um, of me quitting for the day. So a uh, subpar day turned into an absolutely phenomenal day. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.